during the break, we were talking outside about eclipses a little bit. Brian was pointing out how he was amazed that a total solar eclipse, you can look at it and you'll see that the disk of the moon is exactly superimposed over the disk of the sun. But obviously we know that the distance of the moon and the sun is vastly different and the size of the moon and the sun are vastly different. And yet from our perspective, we see the lunar orb and the solar orb for the most part of being precisely the same size. Now there is some variation in that because there's variation in the moon's perigee and apogee from 221 to 252,000 miles. For round numbers, you can kind of think of the moon being a quarter of a million miles from the Earth. The sun, on the other hand, is, you know, about 93 million. And yet, as we've learned now, the diameter of the moon is 2160 miles. The diameter of the sun is 864,000. As it turns out, if you take the diameter of the sun and multiply it by hmm, this number right here, it gives us the distance between the Earth and the sun. And if we take the diameter of the moon, which is 2160, multiply it by the same factor of 108, we discover that we now have the Earth-Moon distance. So it's this 108 factor, this 108 spacing, this proportional relationship. We could express it this way. Solar distance to solar diameter equals lunar distance to lunar diameter and the value of that proportion is the sacred number 108. As we see embodied right here in Baheng of Cambodia from the 12th century with its 108 towers. And there are many examples of how these numbers were incorporated into the fabric of sacred architecture. 